the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. As you guys know, a couple of days ago, India lost a cricket match against Pakistan. They played for jihad. I know what you're thinking. Stuff like this happens, it's normal, but yo, normal and India don't go together anymore because of the ruling BJP party. They're nuts and they are in turn making the people nuts. And we have people in our country who are celebrating over a Pakistani cricket win. Singing the Pakistani national anthem makes our blood boil. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Aren't you getting a bit too far there, mate? Yeah, take it easy. Some are even chanting murderous slogans. They pledge for jihad. <sighs> That's the, the, calling <laughs> cricket jihad is, I don't know, bro. New levels are being set. Yeah, new levels of stupidity, frankly. And no, they're not just some random crazies in India. This individual, Arnab Goswami, has been given the stamp of approval by the current Prime Minister. So of course, if your extremism is state-backed, laws are going to come in your favour, mate. The biggest ever crackdown the Jammu and Kashmir administration is ensuring that anti-national elements are not given government jobs, licences or even the Indian passport. And I'm hearing that this is the kind of action that will be taken against people who were celebrating for the Pakistani cricket team yesterday. So yes indeed, India's cricket team flops and the whole country is getting punished. Either for India or against India, simple. If you're against India, prepare to be punished. Prepare to be punished. Since when did support in another country, in a democratic free country, become a crime? If you're singing the Pakistani national anthem on Indian soil, it is not an exercise of your rights under Indian democracy. It's a transgression of those rights. Ah, <laughs> yes. This is the Bollywood rip-off version of democracy, yeah? But I don't know, isn't it possible to support multiple countries? <laughs> Shouldn't a democracy be able to take that? <laughs> Unless, of course, we're talking about fascism. Yeah, and if we look at the definition, it's forcible suppression of opposition. Now the basics of any conflict resolution, yeah, any mediation is you gotta hear out both sides, pose some questions and let them answer so you can have a broader understanding. So you should be asking what would drive these people to support another country? Is the current government applying the best strategy it can? Should another strategy be applied and adopted? No. I am asking you about people who were cheering for Pakistan yesterday. Don't give me a history lesson. I said which country yeah, do you support between India and Pakistan? You're trying to give me a philosophical answer about it. Apparently not. Yeah, you can't ask these questions because anytime they get asked, they are trivialized and mocked. And let's not forget that Kashmir's autonomy was revoked in 2019 and then the internet was taken from them for the longest period possible known in a democracy, oh, sorry, democracy. And now the only place that they get to vent social media is also removing their channels and suppressing them. Clearly your strategy seems to be working mate. But the three things, yeah, let's, let's break them down. Revoking passports, which just means that you can't leave that place now. Yeah, it's like a prison. Revoking jobs, well, you're slowly killing them off, isn't it? And preventing licenses. Isn't that stopping freedom of movement within the country? Again, a prison-like tactic. If that's not all, my guy wants to send the people to Pakistan. Pick them up. They should go to Pakistan because it is my country, you see. I'm sorry, mate. What, you got some sort of land there or something? What, their bab ka ghar is that your father's land or something, yeah? If you want to cheer for Pakistan, that means your loyalty is with Pakistan, then go to Pakistan. On the one hand, he says, yeah, don't give them passport. On the other hand, he says, yeah, send them to Pakistan. No, don't, don't, don't dither on these issues. Be straight. How do you expect them to get there? By dangling and swinging off your nostril hairs. We're going to catapult them there. You see, that's the difference between upper and middle management, yeah? 
upper management understands, you're more likely to attract flies with honey rather than vinegar. And the latter use cow urine to attract, well, an infection, isn't it? My country, Mr. Kargili, has no place for traitors. Not your country. My country, Arnab. My country. your country, country too. Yeah, it's, it's my country. country. Yes, it is my country. It's our it is my country. 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 It is my country. What do you mean it's not my country? It's my country. It is my country. One minute, please. Producer, you're I'm talking to him. I want him on the screen. One minute. It's my country. It's my country. It is my country. It is my country. It's our country. It is my country. You can't say it's my country. No, 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 no. One second. One second. One second, Mr. Kargili. I'm saying it's my country. बहुत सारे गेस को लेकर बैठ जाते हैं और सवाल जवाब करते हैं एंड यू नॉट रियली मिसिंग मच व्हेन यू लुक एट द रेस्ट ऑफ द डिबेट एज हियर द क्वालिटी ऑफ गेस्ट्स दे एक्चुअली ब्रॉट ऑन लेट्स डिबेट ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स अर्नब देयर शुड बी अ डिबेट ऑफ कोर्स अर्नब हु इज दिस गाय दैट्स आतिक और मराठी हु इज दिस गाय आवर होम्स वर टारगेट विद स्टोन्स देयर This is disaster. Are you a stone pelter? Allow me to complete my point, please. Please. What they? Can I? What can they? I, can I? Can I? No, no. What they? Can I answer? India is a very regressive country. Yeah, they're still using techniques of our desi dads. Whenever something goes wrong, you turn up with sticks and you whack them. If that doesn't work, you ignore the issue and you continue to further alienate your kids. You won't guess what happened at school today. Did you get an A grade? No, there was not even an exam. Well, you should have made an exam and passed it. What? That is why you're such a disappointment. And this is exactly how India is treating Kashmir. They're having a temper tantrum because not only did they lose the match, but they lost the loyalties of the people they were trying to gain maybe try a different strategy yeah i'll leave it there until next time they pledge for jihad assalamu alaikum